is a fairly common medical condition. Obsessive compulsive disorder or OCD means that people repeat a task multiple times or to a level that most people would consider compulsive or obsessive. But what's actually going on in the brain when this happens? Well, over 2% of the people have OCD severe enough to interfere with their daily lives, though maybe five times this amount may have times during their lives where OCD will actually affect their normal activity. The reason this higher number of people are being affected directly relates to how OCD works and that in turn is related to our survival instinct developed by our early ancestors. There are two parts within the brain related to this. The anterior cigulate gyrus, which is stimulated by the thalamus, which again receives signals from our senses about our environment. And the orbital frontal cortex, which integrates our senses into our decision making. And these are separate areas of the brain, but their functions are actually obviously quite interlinked and they're a key process in our survival. The senses spot a danger in the environment. The first part of the brain processes the signals and thinks we need to take some kind of action in regard to this. And then the second part analyzes the perceived threat and decides what action to take in order to keep us safe from the threat. This action continues until the threat is no longer exists and then the brain can return to normal. The brain isn't of course always totally sure what the threat is. If we were to wait until we were totally sure what the threat was before taking action, it might be too late. Is that a deer making the long grass move, or is it a lion? A precautionary response to the environmental trigger, whilst it might produce a few false positives, is it likely to be the best survival technique in the long term. Now, in OCD, these parts of the brain are overstimulated. So the brain perceives a threat from anything from dirt and bacteria to worries that somebody might break into the house. This then leads to compulsive cleaning or checking that all the doors and windows are locked. The rest of the brain might be thinking, clean the house already or check the locks four times, but because of the overstimulation, the survival instinct pushes these thoughts to one side, has noticed something wrong with the environment and has to take action in order to keep us safe. This leads us to thought, how do you get the brain out of this destructive cycle of behaviour? Well, you can take medication, which of course will reduce the stimulation of the brain and pull it out of this cycle. But of course there are downsides of this, since you're only fixing the problem whilst on the medication, there may also be some side effects from medication. But since OCD is a learning behaviour to a perceived environmental threat, you can also train your brain to react in a new way to the potential threat. Now exposure to the threat without taking action that the brain would consider an appropriate action to that threat will slowly, over time, reduce the overstimulation. If you went five minutes without checking that the locks were all secure and you didn't die or suffer some other disastrous consequences, the stimulation in regard to checking the locks decreases. As you slowly extend the period between checks, your brain returns to normal levels of stimulation. Eventually, you realise that just checking the locks once before you go to sleep is enough to keep you safe. So that's a quick look at OCD, a survival instinct which has basically got out of hand in our modern world.